Hey everyone, this is Brittany and you're watching Living Beyond Awesome vlog. And I want to talk to you about social media, right? So social media is everywhere. Right? It's like really one of our key ways that we exist nowadays. Uh, and not everyone participates in it, but a lot of people participate in it. Like if you're watching this vlog, most likely like you are participating in social media as we speak. So like anything else, right? Social media can be a kind of breeder of consciousness or negativity, right? And it's definitely a little bit of both. Right? We've seen amazing uh, examples of how social media has been used to create a lot of awareness, uh, to create straight up movements, right? And it's really inspiring. Uh, but when we think about it on an individual basis, there's a lot of drama on social media that can really be really easy to uh, get sucked into. And also it can be a huge time suck, right? Like I'm sure you've spent hours, can easily spend hours just like scrolling the page, kind of mindlessly just being like, uh, <laughs> right? and it's like, wake up. There's a world out there that has nothing to do with social media. Um, however, if you're going to use social media, I want to talk about ways that you could do so to foster consciousness and how you can approach it consciously. So I want you to consider three things, right? Number one is that everything that you put out on social media has an energy and a vibration, right? Like for real, just like the words that you speak, right? The words that you write, there's an energy to that. So uh, if you're like, I, I don't get it, right? uh, think about certain words. Right. Certain words, all words, have a charge. Some words are pretty, uh, like a neutral charge. Like the word is, probably doesn't make you feel any way. When I say the word is, you're like, okay. Um, what about the word Christmas? Okay. Does that make you feel a certain way, even if you celebrate it or not? Okay. What about the words 9 11? Do those words make you feel something? What about the word fuck? Does that word make you feel something? What about the word celebration? Okay. So words have an energy because we've put an energy to them, right? Uh, like before 9-11 happened, uh, there wasn't a charge to that, to that words that date and now there is okay so everything that we do and all, all the words that we speak and all the words that we write have an energy and have a charge and a vibration and the vibrations right are you don't think of them as good or bad but high or low right so um like for example uh the vibration of om which is uh in yogic tradition and philosophy is thought of as i have this this word, this word that birthed existence, right? Uh, the word Om has a very high uh, vibration, right? Um, and there's other words and, or, and experiences and situations, right, that have low vibrations, right? For example, um, say you're sober and you go into a bar and it's like late night and there's a lot of people are, are drunk and like the drama is starting to come out. Uh, you might feel like, whew, it might feel intense to you if you're sensitive to energy, right? That's uh, oftentimes right, a lower vibration um, because a lot of times alcohol can kind of bring out the, uh, the intensity in people or even the ugliest in people. Not always, but uh, a lot of times it can. So that's, a, that's vibration, right? A vibration, there's, there's, we're all vibrating at kind of different levels. And, you know, it's the same way, like if you're around someone and they're in a, a shitty mood and you're around them and like after a couple of minutes, you're like, whoa, either I have to get away from them or, oh, now I feel kind of like I'm in a crappy mood too. Right? That's energy, that's vibration. And the more we practice yoga, the, the more that it's, uh, it's easier, easier to kind of feel that energy and no longer be shut down to it, uh, which is kind of a blessing and a curse because all of a sudden you're much more sensitized to what is going on in the world around you, which really is a good thing. So, keeping that in mind, everything that you put out there carries a vibration. What vibration do you want the things that you're putting out onto social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or anything else, 
YouTube, right? Like, what do you want that to vibrate at? Do you want it to be something that fosters consciousness, that fosters love, that fosters joy, that makes people laugh, or even that like makes people think, that wakes people up? Right? Or do you want to foster drama? Do you want to foster uh, negativity? Do you want to foster fear? Right? Think about that. Right? Even when you start like you know wanting to bitch about your day, right? like is putting it on Facebook is that really gonna gonna serve a greater purpose? And you might be like, I don't care about serving a greater purpose. And fair enough, right? But everything we do can serve a greater purpose, right? So consider that. Uh, also, right, you wanna. You want to consider, uh, like, number two, right, what you receive on, on social media also has a vibration, right? So whenever you're reading through stuff, right, like, that all has a vibration. So I'm not saying that, you know, like, obviously the vibration is there and you can't control what other people put on, but you can control how you receive it, right? So... Sometimes there's really intense stuff on social media. And if you're just like, you, know, you wake up in the morning and you're scrolling through it, that can easily uh, kind of like infect us very easily. Uh, so, you know, when you're looking at social media, uh, it's the same way, like Eckhart Tolle talks about um, looking at television, right? It's a very unconscious act when we watch television uh, because we get into this space where it's almost can be like brainwashing, right? Because everything else kind of just falls away, but we're, we're watching something that has these messages that are, are easily kind of influencing us, right? Uh, and the same thing can really happen with, with social media. There's almost this thing where it's like, it's like we go numb and we just, we just scroll, right? And we're just watching things over and over. And then the next thing you know, like two hours has passed. So when you approach looking at social media or, you know, uh, interacting with it, can you approach it consciously? And the answer is yes, you can. Right? Can you be mindful of how much time you're spending on it and how you're spending that time, right? Uh, so that instead of just doing it mindlessly, right, it's a mind-numbing experience, <laughs> let it be a mind and thought-provoking experience, right? Uh, and then kind of this step three is recognizing, and I've said this already, but it's, it's really important that you can use social media to foster consciousness, right? If that's what you're passionate about, if you are a conscious being and you wanna grow conscious beings and you wanna serve in whatever way that you do, whatever way that is, know that you can use social media to do that. And there's so many people that are doing that out, out there now, right? There's activists that are doing that. There's people that are interested in social media or in social justice that are doing that, and that in yoga that are doing that, right? Uh, and, you know, you might lose some people on social media. I've known a lot of people that have lost some people because of that, right? Um, and that's okay, right? Because uh, if you are committed to consciousness and to waking up the planet, right, uh, you're going to ruffle some feathers, right? And that, that's what's meant to be, right? So I'm not just saying that everything you put on social media needs to be super positive and super flowery, right? Like if you are really passionate about speaking the truth and putting the truth out there about what's going on in the world, like then do it, right? But get really clean and clear within yourself. Like, are you gonna put it out there with, uh, with anger and hatred and fear latched into it? Or can you put it out there in a way that links purpose to it and love to it, right? Because even if we're angry about something, it's like, it's totally okay to be angry with something, but how can you kind of clear that and get real about that within yourself before you put it out to the world and, uh, and with that breed anger, right? So again, like anger is not a bad thing, but it's definitely something that need, that can be used as a tool and addressed and released so that the messages that you're putting out to the world through social media are clear, are clean, and are concise, right? So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear how you use social media or how you want to use social media, right? Like how you want to use it uh, to wake up yourself, planet, right? To create change in this world. So let me know in the comments below. And you know, when you click off of this, and if you decide to click on something else that is social media related, right? Keep your eyes and your heart open, keep your feet planted on the floor, and know that everything can be presented with a wave and an air and an energy of consciousness and love. Namaste.